I chose to do my presentation on the photojournalist James Natchwe. While his name is not well known, he has won many prestigious photography awards, including Magazine Photographer of the Year several times. Most people would recognize his images in almost every major publication worldwide over the past two decades. James Natchway grew up in Massachusetts and graduated from Dartmouth College, where he studied art history and political science. Images from the Vietnam War and the Civil Rights Movement had a powerful effect on him and were instrumental in his decision to become a photographer. In 1976, Natchway started working as a newspaper photographer in New Mexico. In 1980, he moved to New York to bring begin a career as a freelance magazine photographer. His first foreign assignment was to cover civil strife in Northern Ireland in 1981 during the IRA hunger strike. Since then, he has devoted himself to documenting wars, conflict, and critical social issues. He's worked in El Salvador, Nicaragua, Guatemala, Lebanon, the West Bank, Israel, is Indonesia, Bosnia, Kosovo, and many, many more. Over his career, he has received many honors, such as the Commonwealth Award, Martin Luther King Award, the Dr. Jean Mayer Global Citizen Award, the World Press Photo Award twice, the International Center of Photography Affinity Award, and many, many more. He was documented in the film War Photographer. War Photographer is a documentary following his life. The film was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Documentary in 36 international film festivals played theatrically over 50 cities and won prizes of best film or best documentary five times. For over two years, Swiss filmmaker Christian Frey followed Natchway around the world from burning farmhouses in Kosovo to the homeless and hungry of Indonesia. Frey created a compelling movie about the photographer's daily routine as well as his motivation, fears, and beliefs. The film included interviews with colleagues CNN Christian Amanpour that helped describe the seemingly zen and quiet personality of James Natchway. The documentary has a very incredible, unique point of view in that you not only see the still photos that Natchway took, but you also have a first-person view. He mounted a video camera attachment onto his camera, giving you the feeling that you are there in the moment with him, seeing the world as he does. It added a real sense of appreciation for the environment and dangers he faces to get his images. Every minute I was there, I wanted to flee. I did not want to see this. Would I cut and run or would I deal with the responsibility of being there with a camera? countless crisis areas surrounded by suffering, death, violence, and chaos. Photographer James Nachtwe searches for the picture he thinks he can publish. Nachtwe's work tends to avoid the violent side of conflict and focus on the grief and pain that people live in lives alongside these horrific violent wars and famines often endure. He has a grace and respect that is a true gift while having a calm, seemingly emotionless method to his work. I personally feel incredibly grateful to the James Natchways of the world. It takes true bravery and focus of mind to capture the pain on a mother's face as she holds her dead child in the middle of a battlefield. 
It takes such incredible personal sacrifice to purposely put yourself in harm's way so the world can know what is happening during these awful conflicts and human struggles. It was interesting to read of other photographers' views of Natchewe and his somber personality. Even his colleagues are baffled by his ability to keep pressing on in the worst of circumstances. While many of them would need a beer or two after a tough day to decompress, Natche would simply have a glass of water and then head to bed. I envy the ability to disconnect a rough from the subject to remain focused and work, yet stay connected enough to be allowed in such intimate settings and capture raw emotions like he does. Much care for your kind words. And thank you for all that you and everyone I've worked with at Time for over 30 years have done on behalf of my work and on behalf of our entire industry. Receiving this kind of recognition from this particular group is a tremendous honor. But I'm only one among many journalists who have committed themselves to covering conflicts and revealing social injustices that are crying out to be corrected. It's the combined work of all of us together that builds the critical mass of information and insight that creates change and helps make the world a better place. I want to dedicate this award to those who have, been, who have only been silenced by imprisonment or by giving their lives. We're the point people, the first link with reality in a collaborative journalistic chain. Each of us is a single mind, a single sensibility, one pair of eyes and one pair of ears, one heart, moving through the real world in real time to tell the stories of what happens to people one by one at the sharp end of history. We navigate dangers, endure hardships, and get our hearts broken by what we witness over and over again because we believe that people's opinions matter, that our society cannot function properly without the information we provide and without the stories we tell. Our work is aimed at our readers' best instincts, generosity, compassion, a sense of right and wrong, a sense of identification with others on a human level, across cultures, beyond the borders of nationality, and perhaps most importantly, the refusal to accept the unacceptable. This image is from Nepal a year after the devastating earthquake. Natchewe was said to say, in some sections of Nepal, the small South Asian nation that was devastated by two large earthquakes in April and May 2015, it looks as if the disaster that killed nearly 9,000 people struck only weeks ago. Memoria was a exhibit held in Paris until the end of July of this year. Natchewe is said to say each photograph in the exhibit is a fragment of memory captured within the continuum of history I experienced. Each image was intended to reach a mass audience at the time the events were taking place as a way of raising public consciousness one element among many in the process of change. Now, as that same continuum moves relentlessly forward and the events themselves recede in time, I hope these pictures will stand as a remembrance of the people in them, of the conditions they endured, and of how these conditions came to be. As we share these memories, we bear witness together. Let us not forget. This image is from Nicaragua, San Juan del Norte, in 1984. Contra revolutionary forces led by former Sandinistan hero Commander Zero attacked a government held town on the Atlantic coast. While attempting to advance from the surrounding jungle, one of the Zero's personal bodyguards was shot in the stomach and carried away by his comrades under fire. My takeaway as a budding photographer is to find your personal voice and show in your work. Find a way to make sense of a scene that dozens of photographers are taking and make it your own. Show respect, move slowly and quietly when possible, and always be prepared. Most importantly, do not be afraid.
be empowered.